Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. Before we begin, we would like to thank you for your everlasting support. Our mission is to help you gain deeper insights into yourself and others in a fun and engaging way. We hope we've been able to help you in your times of need. Now, let's begin. Do you have problems understanding your emotions when faced with a challenging situation? Not knowing how to deal with your emotions can lead to them becoming more intense, persistent, and problematic. While it may grant you some temporary relief, suppressing your feelings and being in denial about them may only lead to painful consequences that keep you disconnected from yourself and from those around you. So, here are seven signs you may be suppressing your emotions. Number one, you hate being asked how you feel. Do you get annoyed or upset when people ask about your feelings? Are you quick to brush off any concerns other people might have about you because you don't think it's any of their business? Maybe you're not comfortable opening up to others or dislike getting overly sentimental or touchy-feely. It may be a sign that you're emotionally repressed when you constantly avoid any and all conversations about your feelings. Two, you struggle with emotional intimacy. You have problems finding a friend to confide in or have trouble making a meaningful relationship last. This may be because you struggle with emotional intimacy. Since being emotionally intimate with someone forces you to be vulnerable and to confront your true feelings, you may end up running away or getting defensive and struggle to emotionally connect with them. Three, you're always just fine. Do you have a habit of saying you're fine every time someone asks how you are? You may reassure your friends and family that everything is great and that you're doing really well when you don't mean any of it. You don't feel comfortable admitting when you're not okay or to let people see you struggle. Instead of asking for help or to confront your feelings, you just repress your emotions and bottle them up. Four, you rarely get emotional. Do people describe you as withdrawn, indifferent, or detached? You don't cry or get upset, and you rarely ever get excited about anything. Not only do you dislike talking about your feelings, but you'd also rather not show anyone that you have any at all. You may have been badly hurt in the past and you don't wanna feel overwhelmed by your emotions again. So you resolve to just close yourself off and not feel anything at all. Number five, you have extreme mood swings. Have you ever had an emotional breakdown where you couldn't stop crying or lashing out? Extreme mood swings and emotional volatility are clear signs that you're repressing very strong emotions. Instead of resolving them in a healthy way, you may be pushing them down and acting as if they're not there. But your emotions will come out in a much more problematic manner where you take all of your negativity out on yourself or those around you. Six, you deny all of your problems. Do you avoid your loved ones when they're mad at you or agree to things you don't wanna do to make other people happy? Denial is a very common coping mechanism since you may feel like it's much easier to pretend that your problems don't exist then to find a solution. This difficulty admitting to yourself when something is wrong could be a sign of a much more serious underlying problem. And number seven, you hold grudges against people. Do you have problems letting your feelings of anger and disappointment go? Harboring grudges against people and being vindictive is a very telling sign that you're holding back on your emotions. You may be having a hard time forgiving others because you can't come to terms with all the pain that they may have caused you even if it was unintentional. But holding on to grudges only shows that you're not prepared to deal with your emotions and that you'd rather let them linger over time. Did you relate to any of these signs mentioned here? I know I did. Are you worried you might be emotionally repressed? Tell us about it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and share it with others who may find it helpful too. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more Psych2Go videos. All the references used are also added in the description box below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.